Hi guys, my name is Dipendu. This is DC Codes. So today I'm back with another series. Now in this one we will be learning, we will be looking into Notion API. Now in case you don't know what Notion is, it's an application which users use for many different cases. One of them being to manage stuff. So recently Notion published their API to developers out there in order to allow them to consume data to interact with the data and do basic CRUD operations using the API. So today we will be looking into how to consume data out of a Notion page and for the use case for it we are going to build a simple project cannot really call this an application as it's a simple thing. So over here we are going to build a simple project it's a simple page a single page on which we have an image we have a title and we have a bunch of buttons. Now these buttons are essentially links. If the user clicks on them, it's going to open up the respective link in a different window as that's what it is. Now just by the look of it, you were able to, I believe you were able to get it. Think of this as something that many different services out there provide. One of them being the link tree. Now link tree is kind of like a big name in this specific niche of creating a customizable single page on which the user can change the image, the background and the other stuff. So we are going to build something similar to that. So for the front, we are going to use Next.js in case you're wondering why not React. So the thing is that the Notion API, it requires you to pass in an API key within the headers and that API key is supposed to remain hidden which means that you should be using it on the server side not on client now you can use it i believe you can use it on client but that is something you would probably would not want to do as it kind of gives it away to any user out there so for that reason alone we will be using next.js in case you don't have that much of an experience with next.js is perfectly fine we will cover that up as we build this thing. Now that being said, this page that you see over here, the image title and the bunch of links, this entire thing is actually coming from a notion page that I have over here. So this is the page which is powering this thing right over here. And let me just refresh. So over here, if I change the title, which is being used over here, and I'll keep the image the way that it is, the user can add any link let's add this thing and using the inbuilt feature of adding a link to a text we can add in the link in such a way now notion refers these that you see these things these are referred as blocks and we're going to use the text block for the links that you see over here so if i get back over here and we'll have to probably wait for about 10 seconds and more on that later once we get to that point so now if I refresh, as you can see, the changes have been reflected. The title and the link has been added. The user can even reorder the links using the same, like the, the features provided by the Notion application. So that's what we're going to do in this series. It's a pretty simple one. I'll try to keep it as small as possible. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can add in the Google Analytics or something like that. Even customize the styling. Like for instance, I'm using the same page, this page that I have over here on the official channel, sorry, on the official website of this channel. So as you can see, I have customized a few things in order to make it to match up the same theme as of the website. Now that being said, let's actually get to this thing. Let's start with this project in the next video.